Hey, Shalom. It's Brother Montezal. Before open up, I want to give all praises and glory and honor to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. The honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone and Ruel. Peace and salutations to you, brothers out here, laboring in this truth and truth and sincerity. About to do another quick uh, installment on 1 Thessalonians chapter 5. Today we're in verse 9. I hope brothers be edified. You know, be comforted through the Spirit and power. Yeah, how about Shem Yahweh Shai with this lesson? All right. This is uh, 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 9. He said, For the Most High have not appointed us to wrath, but to obtain salvation by our Lord Yahweh Shai, Hamashiach. So, Lord willing, you know, we be part of that number. The Lord didn't, you know, appoint us, you know what I'm saying, for the for his wrath. But, you know, um, Lord willing, he preserve, he's uh, going to preserve us, man. Save us, you know, from the from the destruction, you know what I'm saying, that's coming here on this, uh, on this earth, man. You know, there's going to be a lot of destruction and, and, and you know, Jacob's trouble. Everything is going to be... Um, <clears throat> All of these things, you know, uh, is going to be going on. And Lord willing, you know, we escape these things, man. You know, we be part of this number, man, that the Lord, you know, already got set, you know, part of the one third, the election. Um, let me get uh, Romans uh, 8 and uh, start at 30, I think it's 31, to the point. He says, what shall we then say to these things? If the most high be for us, who can be against us? Hold on, slot here. Uh, matter of fact, Slocky, I'm going to start at uh, Romans uh, 8, 28. He says, and we know that all things work together. For good to them that love the Most High, to them who are the called according to His purpose. See, and if uh, we're part of that called and be part of that chosen, it's all because it's it's according to the Heavenly Father's purpose, man. You know, and what is that purpose, man? The purpose is basically to do this work. You know what I'm saying? And uh, you know, be a, a a light into the nation of Israel, man. This is verse 29. He says, For whom he did for no, he also did predestinate to be conformed to the image of his son, that he might be the firstborn, like the firstborn among many brethren. See, Lord, Lord willing, we, we, we part of that, man. You know, we, uh, you know, uh, you know, uh, part of the uh, first fruits, you know. Uh, verse 30, he says, Moreover, whom he did predesti predestinate them, he also called, and whom he called them, he also justified, and whom he justified them, he also glorified. See, Lord willing, you know, and those are those men, you know, the elect man, mainly the 144,000, man, that's, uh, who the Lord did predestinate from the foundations of the earth. You know, that's their uh, role. That's why the Lord, um, you know, had called these men into this, into this truth, man. You know, you know, they, 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 uh, they were called into this, uh, uh, into this gospel, you know what I'm saying? To, uh, to, uh, minister and to the lost sheep that's out here to the nation of Israel. Real quick. I'm gonna grab this, uh, second Thessalonians. <laughs> Uh, I believe it's chapter 2, verse 13. He says, But we are bound to give thanks always to the Most High for you, brethren, beloved of the Lord, because the Most High have had it from the beginning chose you to salvation through sanctification of the Spirit and belief of the truth. See, the Lord... From the beginning, man, he has chosen you to be uh, 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 
sanctified, man. Called you to be holy. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, you know, for his own purposes, man. Verse 14, he says, Where unto he called you by our gospel to the obtaining of the glory of our Lord, Yahweh Shai Hamashiach. See, basically, he called us into this truth, man, for our Lord, Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, you know, so that we could be, you know, Lord willing, you know, the first fruits, man, and also to be a light, you know what I'm saying, for the whole nation, you know, for the nation of Israel. It says, Where unto he called you by our gospel into the obtaining of the glory of our Lord, Yahweh Shai Hamashiach. Therefore, brethren, stand fast and hold the traditions which ye have been taught, whether by word or our epistle. So basically, we got to hold fast, man. You know what I'm saying? To this, uh, to the traditions. You know what I'm saying? And to what we've been taught, man. And uh, in fact, let me see if I can grab that real quick. That's going to be in the book of uh, Ephesians. Um, Slakia. One, I think it's one and three. <laughs> Bear with me. Uh, so like, yeah, I'm looking for a particular scripture. This is uh, what's it? Hold on, wait, 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 wait. That's probably what it is. Like, yeah, let me go ahead and just read this next verse. This is Ephesians 1 and 3. He says, Blessed be the Most High and the Father of our Lord, Yahweh Shai and Mashiach, who have blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places in Hamashiach, according as he had have chosen us in him before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy and without blame before him in love so basically the lord you know um you know he made made us holy man you know separated us from the world man and, and basically we are part of that work because that's what we do when we go out here in the highways and the byways you know um you know putting on your shot your how about shimmy our shot in our daily lives you know that's what separates us from this world and also teaching this gospel you know what i'm saying uh it's part of the uh, the separation. It's part of uh, 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 the gathering. It's like, yeah, I should say. It's part of gathering the elect, man. You know, um, you know, uh, uh, by preaching this gospel, because that's what's going to uh, um, uh, bring them into the truth. It's this word, man. Um, he said, it's like in verse four, he says, according as he had chosen us, in him before the foundation of the world that we should be holy and without blame before him in love 
having predestinated us into the adoption of children by Yahweh Shai HaMashiach to himself according to according to the good pleasure of his will. Khan. See, all of this is according to the, uh, the good pleasure of the Most High and his son, man. You know, that we uh, uh, was not, you know, uh, we wasn't created for the wrath. We're not the uh, children of wrath uh, 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 for the destruction. We're not fit for destruction, but we was fitted for salvation. Uh, let me get just one scripture, and then I'm going to close up with that one. This is going to be, um, I believe it's Isaiah. Isaiah 49. Uh, I believe it's 49. Verse 6. To the point it says and he said it is a light thing that thou should be my servant to raise up the tribes of Jacob and to restore the preserved see to, to, to restore the preserved right the Israelites you know what I'm saying the uh, the uh, uh, the elect that's been scattered in the four corners of the earth you know what I'm saying who don't know who they are you know that's this this is why you know what I'm saying the Heavenly Father did this you know we we some of us just woke up before others, you know what I'm saying. Basically, we we are light into 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 our countrymen, you know what I'm saying. That's out here that's lost. Let me read that again. He said, and he said, it is a light thing that thou should shouldest be my servant to raise up the tribes of Jacob and to restore the preserve. See, to restore the preserve. Right, wake them up. Tell them who they are, man of Israel. And I will also give thee. For a light to the Gentiles that they may as be my salvation and to the end of the earth. See, that they may be the, uh, the Lord's salvation, basically the light, you know what I'm saying, for them to come back to serve the Heavenly Father. He said, Thus say of the Lord, the Redeemer of Israel and the Holy One, not saying that the Heavenly Father needed us or anything like that, but you know, it's, it's His will, you know, Lord willing that we, if we part of that number. You know what I'm saying? That's the will of the Heavenly Father. You know what I'm saying? You know, that we uh, uh, be part of that number and, uh, um, you know, do this work to uh, be preserved for salvation. Verse 7, he said, Thus saith the Lord, the Redeemer of Israel and the Holy One, to him whom man despises, to him who, whom the nation abhorred, to, to the slack yet basically that was the point you know you could read this whole chapter it's a beautiful chapter but the point is man the lord i'm gonna read that six again then close up he says and he said it is a light thing that thou should be my servant to raise up the tribes of jacob and to restore the preserve of israel and i will give it's like, and I will also give the well, light to the Gentiles that thou mayest be salvation and to the end of the earth. With that, I'm going to give all praises and glory and honor to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai by Shem Kakadash, the honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Shalom to all you Akim out here laboring in this truth, the truth of sincerity.